Darth Bane or Darth Plagueis have been theorized to appear in the Acolyte, considering the exploration of dark side powers in Star Wars' next live-action TV show. The Acolyte will debut with a two-episode premiere on June 4th, 2024, and be set in Star Wars' High Republic era. The first trailer for the Acolyte offered an insight into the show's story, teasing a sinister plot against the Jedi as Guardians of Peace and Light reckon with the possible return of the Sith. With the Acolyte story promising a distinctly dark-sided twist on Star Wars, many are curious about which characters will appear in the show. While a manless Stenberg's mate is being positioned as the titular Sith Acolyte, it could be the case that other, more powerful ancient Sith characters appear in the upcoming Star Wars TV show. With that in mind, questions are being raised about two of Star Wars' most iconic Sith Lords, and whether the likes of Darth Bane or Darth Plagueis could appear in the Acolyte's Star Wars story. Despite the overall Sith-inclined story premised by the Acolyte, neither Darth Bane nor Darth Plagueis are officially confirmed for appearances in the show. Intriguingly, there are currently no Sith characters officially confirmed for the Disney Plus series, with only Stenberg's aforementioned May being outlined as a potential villain in the updated Star Wars databank. Therefore, it is currently not a guarantee that Sith Lords like Darth Bane and Darth Plagueis will appear in the Acolyte, though that will not stop theories from being constructed about the dark side characters. Darth Bane and Darth Plagueis are two of the more iconic Sith Lords from Star Wars Legends. In the now non-canon stories, both have received extensive backstories, histories, and powers that help them rank as two of Star Wars' most powerful Sith Lords. However, Disney's branding of these stories as legends saw much of the Sith Lord stories removed from Star Wars canon. While some elements have reintegrated the characters back into the wider Star Wars story, many have wished for more detail to be provided, leading to theories about their appearances in the Acolyte. While several rumors and theories have been circulated about Darth Plagueis, it's highly unlikely that Darth Bane will appear in the Acolyte. The reason for this stems from the Acolyte's place in the Star Wars timeline. The Acolyte will take place around 100 years before The Phantom Menace, meaning Darth Bane lived 900 years before the show begins in the time of the Old Republic. The timeline makes Bane's appearance as a living being incredibly unlikely during the Acolyte, though there is one way he could have a presence. In the Clone Wars, Darth Bane appeared to Yoda in a Force-infused division. Given that the Acolyte centers around the emergence of Sith powers in the galaxy for the first time since Bane's defeat, it could well be possible that another vision similar to that of the Clone Wars allows Darth Bane to have a fleeting appearance in the Acolyte. Besides this admittedly unlikely possibility, Bane probably will not appear in the show. Conversely, while Bane's appearance in the upcoming show is unlikely, the appearance of Darth Plagueis in the Acolyte is much more plausible. The fabled Sith Lord who was the master of Palpatine has not been outright confirmed for the show, but the aforementioned timeline could line up perfectly for Plagueis to have a role in the show. Palpatine was 52 years old during The Phantom Menace, meaning the character was born in 84 BBY. As such, the Acolyte takes place in 100 BBY, around 16 years before Palpatine's birth. If it is to be assumed that Palpatine began learning the ways of the Sith from Plagueis at around the ages of 20 or 30, it could be possible that the latter Sith Lord is around 60 or 70 during the time of the Acolyte. This would mean he would be old enough to begin training Palpatine in the ways of the Force before his apprentice murders him, as mentioned in Revenge of the Sith. Taking into account the long life of Moons in Star Wars, the race Plagueis belongs to, it could easily be possible that the Sith Lord appears in the Acolyte. Setting up Plagueis' history would make the Acolyte vital to not only the High Republic era, but the Skywalker Saga too. Aside from the likes of Plagueis or Bane, however unlikely, appearing in the Acolyte, some known Star Wars characters could return in the show. The first of which is perhaps one of the most iconic characters in the franchise, Yoda. During the time of the High Republic, Yoda still served as one of the Grand Masters of the Jedi Council. Interestingly, the Jedi Council had three Grand Masters during the High Republic. One of these was Yoda, while the other two were new characters called Laru and Prater Verda. Alongside Yoda, the Jedi known as Yaddle from the Phantom Menace and Tales of the Jedi could appear in the Acolyte. This sets up Yoda's likely appearance in the Acolyte, should the Jedi of the show wish to consult the Grand Master at any point in the show. Two other characters could also return to the Acolyte, though they are admittedly lesser known. The first is Aparensisus, a Thispian member of the Jedi Council who appeared in the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and the Clone Wars. Rancisus appears in several High Republic books, meaning an appearance in the Acolyte is also a possibility. Another Jedi Council member seen in the background of the Star Wars prequels was Yariel Poof. This character was another Jedi who served on the Council during the High Republic era, meaning a potential role could be found for him in the Acolyte. Interestingly, Darth Plagueis' master, Darth Tenebris, is canon in Star Wars. If Plagueis appears, it remains the case that Tenebris could too. Despite the different placement of the Acolyte on the Star Wars timeline, several characters, Bane and Plagueis included, could play a vital role in the proceedings. How excited are you for the Acolyte? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more coverage as we approach this premiere. And remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.